Hello and welcome to another Warcraft the audio commentary. This is Zotac number 264 semifinals game three. Blah blah blah. We'll get into that in a second. Just want to take a quick little intro to this video uh, and apologize for sound pollution. It's actually been in all three of the games. I don't know if you noticed it or not. And I meant to say this earlier, but I'm gonna go ahead and say it now. Um, unfortunately, I have to do this recording with a window open. It's not my choice. Not my fault. Either way, there's lots of stuff going on outside. I have no idea if you can actually hear it or not. Hopefully, you can't. But it's a condenser microphone, so you probably can. Um, and it, I feel like it's gotten pretty worse here in the past, like, five minutes. So that's why I figured I guess I'd go ahead and say something. So if you hear all that stuff, I'm sorry. I truly am sorry. That's not normal. But, again, um, not a lot I can do about it. So anyway, without further ado, without further delaying this game, let's go ahead and get into this. And this is Game 3, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Zotac number 264 semifinals between STFO dot Mago spotting as the pink night elf in the upper left part of the map versus Inquisitive Hawk spotting as the light blue human in the lower left. Indeed, this is the map of Amazonia, a great map, one of my favorite maps in the Zotac map pool. So, of course, I, I love this map. But anyway, and what do you see? It looks like uh, Mago going for the Ancient of Warkeep right here. And here comes the Militia. Now, this could be bad because this looks like there's not really a lot of uh, headway here for Mago in case this gets pulled on him. And that's what's going to happen. It's going to get pulled on him. And the Militia is going to start attacking now. And we're going to see that Wisp coming in, trying to counter this a little bit. Could he do so? He could try. He's trying. Uh, will he lose that Wisp? He will not lose the Wisp. I don't know why I would even say that. Of course, he's not going to lose the Wisp. He's Mago. He's not stupid. Um... Uh, yeah, so that makes some sense, I guess. <laughs> we can see this wizard actually coming for Hawk's peasant over here. Uh, and Hawk, like, ooh, not happy about that. And Mago's like, go rage. <laughs> I don't actually I have no idea if that has anything to do with this game or the team rage. Or, so I don't know. But anyway, so yeah. Um, obviously, Hawk's not probably going to be happy about losing that much damage onto that peasant right there. And, of course, about the fact that the Ancient of War, uh, the, the renegade wizard right there, went for this peasant in this farm rather than the Ancient of War. But either way, that's what happened. And uh, let's look at the heroes. We can see Demon Hunter coming out for Mago. Over here for Hawk, we can see the Archmage. Pretty much what you... Uh, it's pretty pretty standard right now. It's it's a fairly standard game so far. Oh, do you see now this Hawk's Peasant now trying to get out of the base? He's like, I'm very low and I'm on a recon mission to get out of here. Uh, and he will indeed attack. leave. So here we do see this Ancient of War now ready to actually go for this creep. I'm going to go ahead and see that... Basically, using Mago using the uh, the artificial intelligence, quite nice intelligence, intelligence, uh, <laughs> quite nicely to go ahead and get that lightning shield, if I can remember the name of it, the lightning shield off, and that'll allow him to do extra damage and keep this out faster. Of course, it's always good. Timing is everything. I'm down here for. Oh, oh. Wow. So I have a tower of trash by my desk, and it may have just fallen over. Uh. I wouldn't worry about that. I'm going to take that out later. Uh, so, <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling you guys that, but whatever. So, here we do see Hawk down here. He's also militia creeping out. His renegade wizard goblin laboratory. Lab laboratory. Um, laboratory. I don't know how to say this. I don't... Whatever the point is, is that he's creeping out his as well. Level 1 on that Archmage. Very close to level 2. We do see level 1 on this Demon Hunter. Very close to level 2 as well. Um... Demon Hunter is chasing down a footman, and over here we can see that this will this AOW creep will finish this off, uh, and that will give level two right there to the Demon Hunter. Indeed, as he chases down this footman, of course he does have a gloves of haste, not the best item for chasing, but it does help a little bit. Uh, of course, um, will he actually get this unit, the footman? No, he will not. He does do a lot of damage. It brings it down to 89 food and that or HP, and that does mean he will be out of the early game army until there is a shop up for Hawk to actually kill that up. Um, so there's, I mean, that's good. It's good for Mago. It's a good move. Uh, over here we can see there's a scout farm. There's really not too much else going on. Uh, we do see it looks like these these guys are attacking this Ancient of War. I don't really know uh, if he's concerned about that or not. They're not really doing a lot of damage. Either way, we can see this archer now taking a lot of damage from Hawk. We do have these three footmen now chasing down, attacking the Demon Hunter, forcing him to retreat. He's not going to be able to do too much there. Here comes another footman, and here it looks like we're going to see this water elemental as well as a militia creeping out this camp right there. Uh, I guess it's a green camp. Yes, indeed, the green camp, the green natural, I guess you could call that, for Hawk. That does bring him just about 40% of the way through level 2. Over for this demon hunter, we can see he's about 5% eh, into level 2. So, you can see that there is clearly an experience advantage right now for Hawk on his Archmage. Uh, and he's actually going to creep out this orange camp right here with his footman and a water elemental. 
bringing in his Archmage. I'm not sure why he was chilling over there at that uh, shop. It looks like he wanted to buy something, but I don't think he did. Could have bought boots, could have bought Staff of Teleportation, didn't buy anything. Uh, down here we're going to see Mago, he was over here, and he did pick up boots and a Staff of Teleportation. Level 2 on that, uh, on that Demon Hunter. Now chasing down this footman is very low on HP, and of course we kind of see a similar scene playing out up, up there, sort of, but not really, uh, where the Archmage was trying to chase down. Beautiful micro right now from Hawk, just keeping this Demon Hunter from killing his footman. Uh, we do see it looks like a keep tech coming in from Hawk right now, and oh, will he lose this? No, oh, will he lose none of those? Nope, holds on position. Very nicely done. As you can see, Mago trying to hope. Maybe they weren't on hold position. If he attacks a farm or something, for example, and those aren't on hold position, they would have came out to him. And that would have been a little bit of a micro mishap from Hawk. However, Hawk was a little bit better than that. And we do see level 3 on this Archmage. Wow. Level 3 indeed. Uh, level the Hunter Saw going up the Street of Ages. It's not quite tier 2. Going to go ahead and pick off one of these archers. Will we see another archer go down? It's a possibility. Maybe we'll just see some wisps. Uh, somehow this Demon Hunter got in here. He, I'm not really sure I wasn't paying enough attention. Uh, maybe he used a wisp or something. I'm sorry. That's my bad. But uh, he did get in there using Immolation. And uh, that's cool. And yes, indeed. Uh, let's go ahead and look. He's TP's back to his base. He's low on HP. Not really the greatest move to actually go into that base, taking that much damage when you're being harassed like this. Uh, especially because now he's going to have a hard time actually defending this off. He could lose a Moonwell. Or he, worse, he could lose his Demon Hunter. Or, I guess, even worse, he could lose both his Demon Hunter and his Moonwell. That would be really crappy. Uh, running over here, picking up a Cloak of Shadows. Is there a Dust of Appearance? No Dust of Appearance. However, he's right beside a Goblin Laboratory. They can reveal. Oh, he's trying to run away. He knows that he's in trouble now. Down goes the Demon Hunter. There was no escape from that right there. He kind of ran up there. I don't think he realized that, or I think he might have panicked. And go, when he saw that that was a, a Shadow Melt item, he said, oh, I can use that to hide. Um, maybe. I'm not sure what he did. I'm not sure why he went up there. By the way, he did do that. And so now we see a Naga coming in from Hawk. And GG's called for Mago. So... That's that's game that's game three. So congratulations, Hawk, moving on to the finals, which uh, I'll tell you the finals were Hawk versus Kinchin, human mirror, human mirror, and I think we've seen enough of those recently. So that's the other reason why I didn't really want to cast the finals of Zotac this week. Not I mean it, it, more mostly because of time, but I'll tell you what, um, I did actually cast like a 15 minute game, and like the last 20 minutes were nothing at all <laughs> like literally no action uh, and so i cast that today and that was like i was like i could cast this it was a panda on wcr i was like i could cast this or i can cast zotac finals and it was a panda i was like well this sounds way more interesting than the the best of five in zotac human mirror because we've already seen lots of human mirrors recently and i said i was gonna get away from those so i went for that and then it was terrible um at least from a cast point of view, it would have been it was an enjoyable watch if I could have just eight x it. But I just sat there going, "Man, what am I supposed to tell you, people? There's nothing to see here. I'm sorry." Uh, so yeah, that's not going to get uploaded. But um, so yeah, that's game three. And let's go ahead and take one quick view before we end this uh, to see exactly what that demon hunter did to get in that base. Because I'm kind of curious, and I'm some of you guys might be as well. So we'll see. And so yeah, let's see what happened here. All right, Mr. Demon Hunter. I think the only way to really watch this and find out exactly what happened is in slow motion. Let's watch that and maybe zoomed in a little bit. Oh yeah, Demon Hunter. Oh yeah, Demon Hunter. Get in there. Oh, that was a lot less eventful than I thought it would be. There was a wisp in here. What do you know? Um, so. There you have it. Maybe you guys saw it and I didn't, and I feel silly. Oh, the wisp was even in the base right there. I didn't even see that. I feel silly. All right. Whatever. Um, so I'll see you guys next time.